I have been living with stage four EGFR positive lung cancer for almost 10 years now. And I am the co-founder of the advocacy group called the EGFR Resistors. I'm here to talk to you all today about the importance of lung cancer screening. Right now, if you are eligible for lung cancer screening, um, it's really, really vital that you take advantage of your eligibility. The eligibility covers all adults from 50 to 80 years old who have a 20 pack year smoking history and either currently smoke or have quit within the past 15 years. Now that's the recommendation of the US Preventive Services Task Force, which handles the screening guidelines for all different types of cancer. Now, the American Cancer Society has recently can't come up with a recommended potential adjustment to this screening guideline that may be in, in effect by the time you hear this video. And they have suggested that the elimination of the last portion of the guideline that says that the person has to have either um, currently smoked or have quit for the past 15 years should be eliminated. And, you know, that's so that more people can, you know, take advantage of lung cancer screening, which is really um, such an easy process. You would just go in, you know, tell your your doctor, you know, that you, you know, fit these guidelines, have a discussion with them, and then have a low dose um, CT that's a CAT scan screening. Takes maybe the actual screening 20, 25 minutes um, maximum and is really something that is easy to do. If you get this screening and, you know, there's, they find, you know, some indication that you might be um, a patient who has lung cancer. It's just so much better to have, you know, that found early and detected early and treated early. Because um, if you can have surgery or another form of early treatment, you have so much higher of a chance of being actually cured of that cancer than if your cancer is found later. So it's completely to your advantage to go in and have screening if you're eligible for that. In addition to surgery, there's radiation treatments, there's new treatments that, you know, pretty much can also treat your cancer in, a, in combination with surgery based on the precise molecular determinants of that cancer, meaning that, you know, you can have your cancer tested for biomarkers, which is something you would ask your doctor about or your doctor would mention. And depending on the results of that um, testing, you might end up having an additional medication um, frequently in a pill form to take um, to make it even more unlikely that, you know, your cancer returns. So all in all, the sooner that you can get your, um, your cancer detected, if you have one, the better. And screening is really the path to have this be possible. Now, you know, we also know that there are causes of lung cancer, potential causes of lung cancer, in addition to having a smoking history. And that includes things like environmental exposures, could be from secondhand smoke, could be from radon, could be from other things. That includes having a family history of lung cancer. Often if you have two direct line um, relatives, that's considered a family history and that possibly can increase your, your risk of developing lung cancer. Air pollution can 
um, lead to lung cancer and so can other things. However, right now, all of those, um, those um, stresses on the body are not covered in screening. But if you have something that is bothering you, say you have what you think could be a, you know, a symptom of lung cancer, say you're coughing or you're wheezing or you're short of breath, definitely, definitely talk to a doctor about your concerns. And even if you don't have those symptoms and you fit into one of those categories, talk to your doctor and there might be something that they can do to help put your mind at rest. So um, thanks again um, for listening. Um, if you wanna learn more, about the EGFR resistors, the organization that I co-founded, check us out at egfrcancer.org. Thanks so much.